Number one, you're waiting for your dreams to come true to allow yourself to be happy. Are you waiting for your perfect life to begin so your life can begin? Do you have your eyes set on a goal? One that you believe will ultimately make you happy if you achieve it. Are you holding back enjoying the life in front of you because you're waiting for the life you've dreamed of? We should all have some goals to work hard and strive towards, but they shouldn't become a barrier to our happiness. Money may not make you as happy as you'd hoped. That dream job, years of hard work down the road, may not be all it seemed to be. Life is unexpected, so it's best to enjoy what you have in front of you and the journey towards your dreams in the process, instead of letting your dreams be the only world in which you can imagine a happy you. Number two, you work to fulfill only your materialistic desires. Do you look for happiness in materialistic goods? Is it the next iPhone, purse, or car that will make you happy? Well, those feelings of happiness only last for so long. The thing is, people get used to new items pretty quickly. Sooner or later, you buy that dream car, purse, or phone, it will just be another means of transportation, another item in your closet, a dusty phone you can't seem to get working. And then there will be something new you set your sights on. Then the process just repeats, want by, want by, with only a few brief moments of happiness in between. But these moments just feel lesser and lesser the more you resort to just buying a new item to gain some happiness. Focus on your values instead. At the end of your life, will you be looking back at all the phones you bought or all the friendships you made and experiences you lived? Probably the latter, unless it's your ultimate passion to collect phones. Hey, Psych2Goers, have you ever wanted to reduce stress and improve sleep? Or maybe boost your metabolism and find balance in your body and mind? Intermittent fasting could be the solution, which is why we're so happy to have Fastic as a sponsor today. With Fastic, they have a proven track record and will give you guidance and coaching tailored to you. They have over 400 delicious, wholesome recipes and have daily and weekly fun challenges to help you stay on track. They even have a community to keep you accountable and enjoy the process. Fastic is free to download and has a plus version with more features. Right now, they're offering our viewers 50% off the plus version for the first three months. This offer is exclusive to only the first 1,000 people who click on the link in the description below. If for some reason you're not happy, they have a three in three money back guarantee for your success. Now, back to the video. Number three, you ruminate on fictional negative scenarios that likely won't happen. Do you ruminate on imaginative scenarios, often about the worst case possible, leaving you feeling anxious and mentally drained? Well, it's good to first recognize when you've drifted off into a worrisome realm of anxious imagination and take a step back. This may be difficult at first, but the more you recognize when you're drifting off into ruminating about something that's not rooted in fact, but instead simply negative scenarios that are fiction, you may have an easier time of letting go of that worry. Tell yourself that this is just your imagination running a bit wild that you may often jump to the worst scenario first when likely everything will be fine. If you feel your negative scenarios are indeed more likely to happen in this case, try redirecting the focus into a plan on what you'll do next. Redirect the focus somewhere else by doing another task that requires a good amount of thought. Number four, blaming yourself for something that's out of your control. Do you often blame yourself for everything that goes wrong in your life? it's important that we all step back and recognize when we have no control in a situation and that it's not our fault. Blaming ourselves often takes so much energy it can leave us feeling miserable. When you feel blame arising, remind yourself of whether or not you had any real fault. We can't have control over everything. So working towards recognizing when we're not wrong is a great first step in the right direction. Once you've realized you're not at fault, Redirect your attention onto something you love and appreciate. Engage in those activities that make you smile. It may just get your mind off your worries and onto something that makes you happy. Number five, you're holding onto grudges or anger. Are you currently holding onto any grudges? Do you hold anger in your heart? When this happens, it's best to move towards letting go of this anger rather than holding onto it and hoping something changes. This can be hard when someone has wronged us you deserve respect. Give yourself the respect you deserve and try to focus your thoughts away from the person that wronged you 
Determine if there'll be one who will stay in your life or one you'll move on from. Then forgive or let go of the anger and let the respect for your well being fill that spot. And number six, judging yourself too harshly. Do you judge yourself a little too harshly? It's time to give yourself a break. You're only human after all. A good step towards correcting this harmful behavior is to recognize that while you may think something horrible about yourself, it's not true. It's simply a thought. You can choose whether or not you believe it. Another great tip is to sometimes replace any reoccurring negative judgments with a positive thought, even if you don't believe it yet. Even if you're not the perfect self you believe you should be, which no one is by the way. You deserve respect and love. Treat yourself how you would treat your most loved friend or family or pet. Would you ever say those harsh things to your dog if he was having a hard time? I think not. Yes, everyone's circumstances are different and it may be more difficult for some than others. But recognizing you're not in a healthy place gives you a chance to seek out help that you may need. If these feelings of misery persist, it's best to seek out help from a therapist or counselor. They may be able to help you and sooner or later you may not feel as miserable as you once were. Happiness is surely possible. So don't shy away from taking the first step towards getting there. We can do it together. So which of these reasons could you relate to? Feel free to share with us in the comments down below. Leave a comment with our other Psych2Goers if you have a great method or tip that got you back on track towards happiness as well. We hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, don't forget to click the like button and share it with a friend. Subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell icon for more content like this, and as always, thanks for watching. We want to thank Fastic for sponsoring today's video. Try Fastic now and take back your health and reach your body goals with 50% off a three-month subscription.